okay when you open MATLAB you will get uh, three or four panels okay so in this case you can see there are four panels this is one panel second panel third panel and four panel fourth panel if you get three panels that fine okay so here what is important you should have this panel called the command window now okay so we are not going to use this one this is the script file editor we are not going to use it today so i'm going to close it okay so then we'll get this command window here and then you will have here the current working directory and here the workspace okay we will talk about workspace and the current working directory in a later video so in command window is where we enter matlab command so you can enter normally 2 plus 4 okay if you want to add two numbers you can use the plus 9 like calculator you can enter 2 plus 4 you will get 6 okay then if you want to subtract you can use the minus sign like in the calculator you can enter 2 minus 10 for example is minus 8 no and if you want to multiply numbers you can enter 2 star 5 you get 10 okay it will say this like answer equal to 10 okay then to divide numbers you can use black hash so if i divide 10 by 2 i will get 5 as my answer okay so if you want to erase this you cannot erase this by going there you cannot erase these values so you can if you want to clean your screen you can type in c l c okay so that way you can uh, clean your screen okay so the next thing is about variables uh, variable is like a box label box okay so you can put values in there and you later you can access that value using the variable name for example i can say a equals 5 here it's like I'm putting 5 in a box labeled A, okay? So I can create another variable saying B equals 10. Here it's like I'm putting 10 in a box labeled B. So if I want to access the value in where what type value that I put in in A, a, a later time, I can say A and it will give me the value, okay? so now i clear screen so when you create a uh, variable if you don't want it to show the output you can use a semicolon for example if i say b equals 10 it's going to sorry i forgot to type the b i clear the screen if i say b equal 10 it will show the value of b no but if i say c equals 10 and if i use a semicolon here then it will not show the value like this okay so now i can do any operations there here if i want to access the value of c i can later access it by typing c okay also i can access the value of b by typing b okay i'll clear the screen again so it's automatic clc okay next thing is to learn to create uh, vectors okay you can create a raw vector by giving this back of one Two, three. Okay, so this will create a row row vector. Okay, 
so if you want to create let's say I want to create all the numbers between 1 and 10 I can do x equals 1 here I am giving the value I am going to increase I am going to increase by 1 so 1.1 1 .1. here I will give 10 ok so it will create equally spaces valued between 1 and 10 that increase by 1 ok so 1 here I go from 1 2 3 4 5 I am increasing by 1 no? I am starting from 1 increase by 1 I go to 2 increase by 1 I go to 3 increase by 1 I go to 4 increase by 1 I go to 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 ok so this is called a row vector because it's like this ok I can make it, make it a column vector by giving a dash here ok I can make it a column vector by giving a dash here so for example if I say c equals 1 2 and 10 now it will increase by 2 ok so here I get 1 1 increase by 2 is 3 3 increase by 2 is 5 5 increase 2 is 7 7 increase 2 is 9 so if I increase 9 by a 2 I will get 11 so my highest bound is here 10 so I have to stop at 10 so it will not show 11 ok because I am stopping at 10 now let's clear the screen ok now you can multiply this vector by a scalar ok let's see I can create a vector from 1 to let's say 10 to 100 increasing by 10 ok so increasing by 10 10 to 100 ok so I get a vector like this. I can multiply this vector x by 2 by saying 2 star x. So what it will do? It will multiply everything inside x. Okay. So if I say 2 star x, it will multiply each value inside x by a 2. So I will get 20. This 10 got multiplied by 2. 20 got multiplied by 2. 2 I get 40, 30 got multiplied by 2, 40 got multiplied by 2 I get 80 likewise every value get multiplied by 2. Ok so let's see what happens if I add a number. I want to clear my screen so I will type CLC sorry it's a thought typing CLC ok now let's see what happens if I add to a vector ok again let's create a vector so if you click, click the up arrow you can get your previous command ok so I want to get this command I click the up arrow and I can select it here ok so I create a vector now let's say x plus 10 ok it will add a 10 to each number so 10 plus 10 20 each value in this vector 20 plus this 30 30 plus this 40 40 plus 
10, 50 like that each value in x will get added by 1 ok ok I will clear the screen again So now let's look at example. Write down a MATLAB create to uh, code to create a table that displays Celsius values in the first column and the corresponding Fahrenheit value in the second column. Okay, Celsius values are zero. Okay, so it's going from zero, ten, twenty, thirty. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 and the conversion is given by this formula ok f equals 9 over 5 times c plus 32 ok So here first time will create my vector containing the Celsius values. So Celsius values have to start from zero and they go have to go up have to go up to hundred. Okay. So I will type it in here. X equal I need zero to hundred increasing by ten. No, so I will I will plus type 0 increase by 10 up to 100 ok so that will give me a vector containing Celsius value ok let label it by C because it's containing Celsius values ok so C equals 0, 10, 100, ok, so this is here, ok, then we need to create the Fahrenheit values, ok, so Fahrenheit values 9 divided by 5 times C plus 32. So to create the Fahrenheit value, each Celsius value, I have to multiply by 9 over 5, ok. So I multiply Celsius value by 9 and divide by 5, ok. So 9 star Celsius value and I have to divide it by 5, ok. So I can type it like this. Oh, I can say 9 first I divide the 9 by 5 ok 9 by 5 I will put a if I do like this I have put a bracket ok 9 by 5 because 9 have to be divided by 5 first then I put a star C plus thirty two. Okay, so this will create a Fahrenheit value. So Celsius zero is equal to thirty two Fahrenheit, ten Celsius is equal to 50 Fahrenheit, 20 Celsius is equal to 68 like that ok now I need to create a table so to get them vertically listed I can use this ok there are nice way to make a table in MATLAB we will talk about that later for now we will use a simple one t equals here 
I can say X I want it like a column no in a table it's not like this so I say X dash okay because to get a column I can use a dash and a Y dash okay close it okay let me see okay sorry I use X and Y okay but they should be C and F, F no because I use C and F sorry okay so here I will say C dash and F dash okay now you can see nicely this Celsius 0 is 32 10 is 50 likewise a table okay so now you can size the activity exercise activity okay and upload your answers okay if you need help in uploading you can uh, check with me okay before you starting the exercise clear the screen and you can start the exercises now okay